After 33 hours, the manhunt to find an escaped accused killer is over. Eric Abril first went missing from Sutter Roseville Medical Center early Sunday morning. Now, he was found wearing only his prison boxers. He was hiding in a creek bed. And this morning, we are now back where it all started at the hospital. ABC 10's Monica Coleman joins us live from the Sutter Roseville Medical Center. So, Monica, a homeowner and a dog led to the capture of this guy? That's right. A homeowner and a dog saw that there was just something not right behind their home, and that led to the capture of the alleged killer, Eric Abril. But the investigation on how he was able to escape is still ongoing. But Placer County Sheriff's Office officials tell us that they do know Abril was able to break from his restraints. But I do want to show you this picture. Take a look at your screen. This is the photo of Eric Abril moments after he was captured. You can see him sitting on the ground there. All he's wearing is his boxers and a body chain. But the people who really deserve credit for the capture of April is the homeowner. His name is Bill Sanchez. He was taking his dog on a walk and his dog started to bark and he knew something was up. Then he looked into the wooded area behind his home and he saw orange jumpsuit pants. He knew that had to be the, the alleged killer, so he called 911 immediately and then law enforcement responded to the scene. We do know that this is the exact area where people saw Eric Abel running across their yard early in the morning the day he was um, pronounced escaped from the hospital. We want to give you a clip here of Sanchez describing to us the moments he saw the orange jumpsuit pants. The whole Placer County is relieved now, so it's, it's a big deal. He could have maybe hijacked a car and been down in L.A. by now. Nobody knew where he was. We're just lucky to lucky that they were able to get him. After they were able to capture him, they did bring him back here to the Sutter Roseville Medical Center. He will be rebooked into the Placer County Sheriff's Office. They say they will put him right back behind bars to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Back to you. Yeah, Monica, like you, I, I'm really anxious for the uh, for the press conference with the Sheriff's Department uh, talking about all the circumstances that led up to this. So, April is back in the medical center. Uh, what what are they doing to make sure that this doesn't happen again? And what is he in the medical center for? At this time, they're not telling us what, why he's in the medical center. But when you look at that photo of him sitting there on the ground when he was captured, he was pretty beat up. He had busted knees. He had a couple scrapes on his arms. So they're probably doing just a thorough body exam on him before they send him back um, into police custody behind bars. But when it comes to the investigation here, they tell us that this time they had six sheriff deputies surrounding him while he was in the hospital to make sure that he didn't escape again. Yeah, I, I had read somewhere where once they found him, they said, if you move or run, we will shoot you. And he willingly gave up at that point. So um, it was mm -hmm. definitely on at that yeah. point. Monica Coleman, who's in Roseville. Monica, thank you. So let's recap what happened here. April was in custody after a deadly shootout in Roseville uh, earlier in April. He took two people hostage near uh, Roseville's Mahaney Park. Well, a man died there. His wife and the police officer were both hurt. And this all started after CHP tried to serve an arrest warrant. He was connected to a freeway shooting. Well, he appeared in court for the first time back in April. He showed no emotion, only spoke when the judge asked if he needed an attorney. Now, back then, we did talk to the Placer County District Attorney about what charges he's facing. An attempted murder on a police officer. He's charged with the kidnapping of one of the victims. He's charged with a murder of another victim and with an allegation that that murder occurred during the course of a kidnapping. So after this more than 30 hour escape, those charges are expected to multiply. ABC 10 will follow every part of this story along the way. Make sure you stay with us for updates on air and online. We can also provide you with updates and breaking news sent right to your phone by using the ABC 10 app.